basically I had to take out this part of my skull. And that is right here. Here's my hand next to it for scale. That's the inside and that's where you can see the initial trauma. And you can see the grooves where my veins were in my head. And it sat on my head like this. Eddie, Yo, this is my oh, dude. real skull. Oh, okay. Feel it. That's where I hit my wow, head. That's so weird. It's thick. I was hit by a car while riding my boosted board on Broadway in New York City. A lot of you have been asking if my head is like squishy. Well, yeah, there's no skull there. How I protect myself is through this helmet. So basically over the next four weeks, while I'm waiting for my new skull to be made, I have to wear this thing, which is not that bad because I'm at least I'm alive. So since I don't have a skull on the left side of my head, all of this is fluid from the top of my brain. So if I turn my head, you'll be able to see it goes up. And then when I go back, it comes back down. It's super crazy. The accident happened on October 11th, 2019. I was going to get Taco Bell. I left my house at 8.50 p.m. according to the cameras from my building then somehow some way my phone says I was at the hospital via lo location services by 8 58 p.m. we don't know how there's no ambulance support there's no 911 call there's no camera footage there's no one who knows how I got there my mom just so happened to check my, my location it's like why is he at the hospital what was the issue was my brain was bleeding and swelling rapidly that led to me having emergency brain surgery the doctor told my mom that I had about 10 minutes left before my brain did. Doctors estimated I'd be in the ICU for at least eight months. I was home after 23 days. I spent two months wearing a helmet. So this is another crazy part about the whole accident. So I applied for Medicaid on October 3rd and got approved on October 6th, 2019. The accident happened on October 11th, 2019. Total medical bills ended up being $3.9 million and I paid nothing out of pocket. That's just a life-changing amount of money that I would be in debt for if I didn't have that. I didn't really realize what had happened until about five days after the accident. It was a weird feeling. It had been burned into my brain at that point. If I stood up without my helmet on, if I did something as little as bump it into a cabinet, that could be life-ending. I wasn't depressed, but I came, became super insecure. I looked different. You wake up every morning for the first 19 years of your life, and you look in the mirror, and then one day you wake up and you're not seeing the same person anymore. On December 19th, I got a cranioplasty, which means they put a new skull in my head, as well as 11 titanium screws to kind of secure it in place. Every doctor I've seen has looked at me and said, like, the fact that you're sitting here and doing very well, almost a year after a traumatic brain injury, the fact that you're sitting here looking at me, talking to me and coherently, I've never seen it before. My main takeaway is how important helmets are, because if I was wearing a helmet that day, none of this would have happened. Probably would have had a mild concussion. I would actually know what happened. It can happen to me, it can happen to you. I've gone through soon to be five surgeries to fix what happened that day almost a year and a half ago.